Good morning guys. So today we're doing a uh, change of plans for today. Um, I picked up Alex and uh, we're heading down to Massachusetts to Burlington, Burlington Mall. Uh, a friend of mine owns a uh, one of the largest uh, commercial tile like fulfillment companies in, in the country and uh, he's supplying tile for for the mall that they're doing but a big pallet of it came of uh, wrong size so he asked me if i could do him a favor and uh, come down and cut it and um, of course i'm going to jump right at that uh, we're charging him for this 100 percent, but also it's a good friend uh, that i want to help out so we're going to go set up in their parking lot and uh, cut some tile right down the middle Okay, so let me show you how to set up for your batch cutting. So we have our tile, They're, all the tiles are exactly the same. So what we want to do is just find the midpoint of the, of the tile itself there. I'm going to bring my saw and line it up right here, right over that Sharpie mark. Once we have that set up, I can then go ahead and put my bumper here, just like that, and then I can start ripping it. But what's super important, you see that this tile, the graining kind of goes in the way, right? Kind of goes this way. So you want to make sure anytime you're cutting that you're always facing your arrows the same way. So we're just going to face out. So every tile that we're going to put down here is going to be faced out. Really, that's all you have to do. So we got this tile, we got all of this, and then we got a pallet in there that we have to cut. So we're going to try to set up a little system here and just bang it out. All right, so when we are cutting our large format tile, my process is just pretty simple. I score the tile, you'll see, I'm gonna score the tile, plunge the front, plunge the back, and then cut it all the way through. So check it out. So after Alex cuts it on the saw, he brings it over here, and then we have this bit, this edge right here that has a little bit of roughness to it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm using this dry bit polishing wheel here, and just going on the 45, and I always pull, because I feel like I can have more control on it, and I'm literally just kissing it. I'm not pushing on it, just like that, watch this. All it takes to take some of that edge off and really get you that nice factory finish on the sides. And I'm just doing a bunch of them at a time. It's not just a little mwah, kiss. All right, so Alex is pre-cutting a whole bunch of stuff there. Let's go explore some of these containers. Bang. We got a whole bunch of schluter strips here. So these are the things you will use to kind of cap off your tile. So they, like this piece, let's say, you know, kind of goes right with the tile here and that gives you a really, really nice finish. What else we got here? Echo pr Prime Prim Grip. So this is, if you're going to tile over a tile, you want to be using stuff like that. This is a primer T, so this is for self-leveler. You would be using that for self-leveler. These are all Mepai stuff. Good good qualities. What's this grout? We got some grout over here. What are, what's over here? Ultra color, so this is all grout. Holy cow, there's a lot of grout.
whole bunch of tile, some broken tile. Oh, is this empty? That's empty. More primer. Damn. So this project basically finished and they are, this is the tile that they have left over and they want to inventory. And I guess they decided to tile a new portion. So they wanted to cut down more tile to kind of make the sizes work out. More tile. <laughs> That's what's cool. Like, so when he orders tile, when Tom orders tile, he basically just gets shipping containers worth of this stuff. You know, we're talking like 90, 100,000 square foot jobs. It's pretty impressive. All right, so Alex is noticing that we're kind of running short on water because we are spilling a bunch of it. Um, so we're gonna go get some water. If we have proper water level during this like cut, we can get like 5,000 square feet out of this blade. But if we start to see it run out and dry, this thing will burn right up. So we're gonna go get some water. All right, so we're done with our uh, 24 by 24 cuts, but we did get a curveball. ball. Uh, turns out that in all of these containers, there are missing tile that looks like this. So basically we have to take 12 by 24 and now make three cuts on one tile and uh, cut a bunch of these strips. And we have nine boxes that we have to do that to. All right, so it's two o'clock. This saw has been running for seven hours straight. And this is the last, and this blade's been cutting for seven hours straight. And this is the last cut that we just did without polishing or anything. Look how straight that thing is. This goes to show like why I love Ruby tools so much. I mean, this blade just got, I mean, this entire situation here just got this kicked and it's still fine. And I think I could cut probably another bathroom worth of tile on here. Here's what we got. We got this entire stack. We cut all of this tile. Where's the other stack? Here? Uh, yeah, down here. Here. We got all this. We got all of this tile that we cut to three inch. I mean, it's unbelievable. Like, so many times I would go and get a Home Depot blade, barely get worth one bathroom out of it before it burns out. It's just the best tools. I have a link for it down down below. I mean, if this wasn't a good test, I don't know what a good test would be. All right, this thing is getting a bubble bath tomorrow. Alex is gonna clean it right up for our first thing. All right, so to have a real quick team meeting here at the end of our vlog number three. Alex, how are you feeling? Feeling great. Alex, feeling great? I did not think that was not gonna be as much not fun as that was not fun. That kind of sucked. I was like, hey, we're gonna go cut some tile in the parking lot. Maybe it won't be that bad. That sucked. We were there for seven hours cutting that tile. After like hour two, I was like, all right, this is gonna suck. Uh, but thankfully, we didn't even finish the like the, the rest of it, but Tom had to get on the plane and uh, go back to Chicago, so he had to call it, so we had a deadline. Uh, but no, we cut so much tile, uh, helped a friend out, all in, it was a good day. Okay, see you guys tomorrow.